So here, let's take a look at this double absolute value equation. And this one is pretty tricky because we have to consider four cases. And let me tell you though, two of the answers that we get are fake, only two are legitimate. So make sure we just double check. Here we go, case one, just take out the absolute values. So we will just get x plus 2x plus 3, and that's equal to 4. Okay, solve this, this is 3x minus 3 on both sides, we get 1, and divide both sides by 3, we get x is equal to 1 over 3, all right? So that's case one. Case two, perhaps let me negate this one right here first. Take out the absolute value, and we get negative x, and then plus, we keep this positive. And we have 2x plus 3, and that's equal to 4. Okay, this right here will give us x minus 3 on both sides, we get 1. All right, and then case 3. I'm going to keep that as positive and then negate that after we take out the absolute value. So we have x and then minus parentheses 2x plus 3, and then that's equal to 4. So right here we get x minus 2x and then minus 3, it's equal to 4. That will give us 7. And this and that will give us negative x. And divided by negative 1, x is equal to negative 7. Lastly, case 4. I'm going to negate both. So we get negative x and then negative parentheses 2x plus 3. And then that's equal to 4. All right, so let's see what we will end up with. Uh, okay, this is going to be negative 2x minus 3. All right, so that will give us negative 3x. And then add the 3 on both sides, this is going to be 7. Yeah, so this is not just the negation of that, you see? Because that's a negative 3, we add the 3 on both sides, so that's 7. And then, what we are going to do is divide both sides by negative 3. So this right here, x is equal to negative 7 over 3. Wow, look at that. It looks like we have four answers. But no, only two of them are legit. So we just have to plug in and check. So check case 1. Plugging one third in here, we get one third. And then plugging to here, we get plus pretty much two thirds. And then plus 3. So that's 1 plus 3, which is 4. So this right here does work. Absolute value, well, technically, but everything's positive. Doesn't matter. So this right here does work. Plugging 1, we get 1 in the absolute value plus 2 times 1 plus 3. Have a look. This is 1, but this is 2, 5. 1, that's 6. So no, we don't want that. So this is not, yeah. So this is actually not. The answer. Yeah. Plugging negative 7 into there, we get negative 7 in the absolute value, and then plus 2 times negative 7, and then plus 3. This is 7 plus, this is negative 14 plus, that is negative 11, so it's plus 11, so that's 18. That's not what we want. Yeah, we want 4, so negative 7 is not the answer either. Plugging negative 7 over 3 into there, so we will get absolute value of negative 7 over 3 plus 2 times negative 7 over 3 and then plus 3. So that's positive 7 over 3 and this is okay be really careful this is negative 14 over 3 plus 6 over 3 absolute value. So that's 8 over 3 negative 8 over 3 but after that it becomes plus 8 over 3. Ooh, no, sorry, my bad. This is not 6. <laughs> 3 is equal to 9 over 3, so this right here will give us negative 5 over 3, but in the absolute value becomes positive 5 over 3. And this is 7 over 3. So it's 12 over 3, so we will end up with 4, so it checks. So this right here is also the answer. So as you can see, we only have two answers. Right? So be really, really careful when we are solving uh, double absolute value equations, especially we have the absolute value plus another one is equal to a number. All right, so I'm going to give you guys two questions for you guys to try. Ready? Very similar. So go ahead and try these two questions and comment your answers down below.